It means an awful lot to me. It's um, part of my, my history and my uh, you know, connection with the community of, of Wimbledon. I mean, I was born in Wimbledon, so um, you know, it was classically always going to be my local club, always a club that I, I followed and got involved with. Um, I think that the sense of it really is the kind of magic of the community of the club, which is really unique. So, you know, I remember the days back in Plough Lane when you kind of had the smell of bofferall going through and kind of old smoke piping, pipes, uh, people smoking pipes. And, um, you know, that kind of smell, and, and particularly on an eve and a night game, it was just, it's kind of magical place and, you know, people really came together. And that, that whole kind of community of what a club's really about, of all the people on, on the terraces and the stands, it's that kind of bring together that really is so unique. It's not like some, you know, big club where you're disconnected. You really feel part of the whole way Wimbledon is all about. Keynes is not just the one answer, one the one thing that was being talked about. It was about it being a business deal. So it was it was taking the football out of the football club. So it's about how could you make money. So when you look at that, when you're owned by a property dealer um, who's looking ultimately a bit beyond what the fans, what the fans mean, what the fans care about, what the community cares about, and they're looking for a quick buck, then. Frankly, it could have been as it was. It could have been Hull, it could have been Dublin, it could have been Glasgow. I think all of those places were mooted at some point or another. Crawley, um, all of those things. If it was about purely making money, and Wimbledon um, on Plough Lane was prime real estate. So flocking a ground and moving to a cheaper location backed by a big supermarket chain that's going to pay for your ground, you know, in a business financial sense, it kind of was like it's just basically a property deal it wasn't about what football should be about which was the community and passion of fans and supporters it betrayed all the traditions of English football um, you know they picked on a small club full of fans that were kind of rational you know responsible fans and they took advantage of us massively You know, we we're a bunch of misfits that had been that had a point to prove, and that not only connected with the fans, but it connected with the players. So the players were putting on the shirt, going, "Right, well, I've got a point to prove." You're kind of saying we're a bunch of misfits. We're, you know, we're no good for British football. And frankly, there couldn't be a bigger inspiration to prove people wrong. And when you come across a, a side like Liverpool, who at the time were, uh, you know, the kind of darlings of global football, considered to be the, the very best of of what football is about, uh, with their kind of, I don't know, almost elitist uh, attitude towards football at the time. And they would, they'd won an unprecedented amount of titles and we were the, the people that rub their noses in it and say, actually, there's a whole lot more to football than being that. John Green's a nutter, uh, a brilliant nutter. Um, you know, J John Green um, basically just started playing FIFA, and heard a bit about the story of AFC Wimbledon, was doing it with his brother playing, you know, blogs on uh, blogs on YouTube uh, of him playing as Wimbledon. And, you know, wonderful story of it. Well, I think he's got Mr. and Mrs. Green up front or whatever it was, uh, playing with Danny Kedwell and all the rest of them. Um, and he just kind of realised there was a potential to, to go a little bit further. Um, but I think it's because it's such a special club. You know, and like you say, there is a, a good guy and a bad guy. You know, we are a Hollywood tale.
Uh, and I think that really appealed to the likes of John Green. Um, you know, that kind of special bit about, it's like I feel real proud, real pride to say I support AFC Wimbledon because it means so much more. And I think that's what John Green saw in it. Um, you know, be it, anybody who's got half a kind of moral bone in them, it's hard not to be moved by the AFC Wimbledon story. Frankly, they should all be investing in AFC Wimbledon. Thank you.